In the early 50s and 60s, Muslim students migrated to the United States to expand their education and search for opportunities that would benefit them and their families. In a new land with a new culture, they found themselves adjusting to their newly found home. Like preceding immigrant communities before them, they felt that maintaining their Muslim identity would be a challenge. Like many Islamic organizations in the United States, ICNA also traces its roots to the early formation of the MSA. MSA was an organization of students all around the U.S. and Canada. Uh, the goal was that hold fast to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together and do not disintegrate. So we wanted to combine and integrate all Muslims, students especially at that time. As these Muslim students became professionals, they branched out to form many different Islamic organizations, a challenge they accepted wholeheartedly. On September 1st, 1968, during an MSA convention in Green Lake, Wisconsin, the Halakha Abab Islami organization was founded by six brothers. The focus of this organization was to present Islam as a complete way of life and engage in a dynamic, peaceful struggle to change individuals and families for the betterment of society. The central idea being an organization that is an Islamic movement at its core. The members of the Halakha focus their efforts on education and their spiritual development. Africa and Canada, तरीके इस्लामी के लिए काम कर रहे हैं उन सबको मेरी तरफ से सलाम पहुंचा दीजिए द विजन ऑफ द फाउंडर्स वाज वेरी सिंपल टू हैव एन इंटीग्रेटेड इस्लामिक कम्युनिटी इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका वेयर स्टूडेंट्स दोस हु आर प्रोफेशनल्स लिव टुगेदर लर्न टुगेदर इंटरैक्ट टुगेदर एंड एट द सेम टाइम प्रोवाइड an example of how to live Islam in North America. Annual meetings of the HAI were held regularly during the MSA conventions and started gathering more members as it grew. In July of 1976, HAI held its first annual convention held at the Muslim Community Center in Chicago with about 50 to 60 attendees. In 1977, at its second annual convention in Jersey City, New Jersey, it was overwhelmingly decided to change the course of HAI by its members. A detailed constitution was adopted and HAI became the organization we all know today as the Islamic Circle of North America. Islamic Circle North America started a small organization of workers and basic purpose was to provide the tarbiyah from Islamic point of view and uh, build commitment in them for Islam and Islamic work. Work of ICNA is important because we have to present Islam throughout the United States as well as for Muslims they need some kind of uh, organization to present them and also for training of Muslims. With a new name and new direction, members of ICNA were determined to become an inclusive, diverse organization and adopted English as their official language. ICNA's work towards establishing a place for Islam in America began. Since its founding and the amazing connection it has with the Muslim Students Association, that this study circle that came out of the MSA, ICNA went on really to be one of the organizations that always stayed current with the times. With the 1980s came several key expansion projects. ICNA's main headquarters was established in Jamaica, Queens. With a central location from which to base its efforts, ICNA was able to launch numerous projects. With its membership growing, new chapters of ICNA started their work in their local communities. 
The ICNA Sisters Wing was established with the purpose of mobilizing and empowering women of all ages to outline the framework of their dean freely within their own circle by providing a platform through education. Oh, people love the world. In 1986, ICNA's Urdu magazine Tariq was renamed The Message and started its English-only publishing quarterly, and eventually this grew to a monthly publication as it gained subscriptions. Let's open up our hearts. In 1992, ICNA Relief was established to focus on relief work in the United States. Initially, its purpose was to distribute zakat and sadaka funds. Since then, ICNA Relief has become a flagship program of ICNA. Its mission seeks to alleviate human suffering by providing caring and compassionate services to victims of adversities and survivors of disasters. ICNA Relief has helped make a difference in the lives of more than 200,000 people, both Muslim and non-Muslim. Our programs span across 13 states and feature 14 women's shelters, 27 food pantries, 7 free health clinics, free counseling, refugee services, back-to-school giveaways, and a disaster relief program. ICNA knew early on that the future of our community depended on our youth. In 1995, Young Muslims was established and was dedicated to addressing the vital roles Muslim youth should play in North America. YM is a global alumni group where you have brothers and sisters who've gone through Young Muslims and it changed them, it transformed them, starting with feeling comfortable being a Muslim to also helping develop their communication skills, their speaking skills, their confidence. Through the 90s, ICNA's programs and membership level grew at a phenomenal rate. With this growth, the annual convention saw attendance increase every year. Today, the ICNA convention hosts over 20,000 participants and is the largest Muslim convention in the U.S. <laughs> Dawah has always been a top priority of ICNA. This focus has kept ICNA at the forefront of Dawa activities in North America for the past four decades. In 1999, the Y Islam hotline was established, where anyone can call and ask questions related to Islam, request for a visit to a mosque, or order a free Quran in Islamic literature. The Y Islam Dawa project aims to organize our Dawa work in North America in a professional and effective manner. We have reached out to many, many non-Muslims and they are also willing to hear what we have to say. People want to know what you, as a Muslim group, what you say about your faith. And that interaction and that dissemination and bring about that awareness, I think this is the way we have really helped the American public as a whole. The Islamic Learning Foundation is an educational Islamic institution with the main objective of enriching the lives of Muslims in general and Muslim youth in particular by educating their minds and affecting their hearts with sound knowledge of Islamic Sharia. In 2000, ICNA started the first Muslim Family Day at Six Flags in New Jersey. Today, Muslim Family Day has expanded to 10 cities nationwide, attracting 50,000 attendees. Muslim Family Day is the quintessential American Muslim experience and provides the community with a form of entertainment unlike any other. Oh, people love the world. For years, ICNA was participating in relief work on a global level. In order to organize and grow this effort, Helping Hand was established to continue to provide global humanitarian relief and development with a special focus in countries where the majority of the population is living below the poverty line. In 2009, the ICNA Council for Social Justice was established as a social justice human rights organization that strives to systematically facilitate assertive Muslim involvement in the struggle for the rights of the oppressed in the United States. As the organization has matured and has grown, we finally realize and have actualized a division of the organization that addresses the ever-changing politics and the social realities that we confront in this country. 
dawa is very important social service is very important but standing up for justice is also very important we like to train our brothers and sisters how to follow up a bill how to stand up for any injustice not only to muslims but any injustice happening to this society there are people dying if you care enough for the living make a better place for you Another organization ICNA established in 2009 was Gain Peace, with the main goal being to educate the general public about Islam and to clarify many misconceptions they may hold. Gain Peace provides Islamic information booths, ad messages about Islam on buses, billboards, trains, radio, and TV stations. By 2017, Why Islam and Gain Peace have 5,000 shahadas combined. In my heart, I feel you are In these challenging times, Ikna is working around the clock to counter Islamophobia, to show our fellow Americans the true message of Islam. We are here to celebrate the 50 glorious years of Islamic Circle of North America, Ikna. They have done an amazing work and I want to applaud their important work in the humanitarian area. So today we celebrate this important milestone and i offer my best wishes to all of them on behalf of islamic society of north america through the last 20 30 years we've seen a lot of existential challenges to the community that in some ways rocked people's adherence to certain really important foundational principles of islam and ikna has maintained an adherence to certain principles when there's a greater need there's a greater need for a response and so with everything that's happening right now to have an organization as comprehensive as ikna addressing the areas of relief education dawah would have your social justice is more crucial now than it's ever been in the past 50 years so i pray that allah gives this organization more and more years to be able to serve the community properly that this organization provides that hope this organizations provide that kind of environment where where people can come and see it as a wholesome environment see it as something of benefit to themselves and to their families and see it as an environment which offers a, a greater good for the society in 2014 the us council of muslim organizations or uscmo was established with the mission to open effective communication and coordination spectrums between all American Muslim organizations. I joined ICNA in the year 2000. So I've been with the organization for almost two decades now. And the feeling of brotherhood and the association and the connection that I felt with the members of the organization, that's been one of the primary reasons uh, for me joining the organization and being part of uh, the Islamic movement in North America. In the last few years, ICNA headquarters was renovated and expanded to better facilitate the future growth of ICNA. As our community has grown over the decades, ICNA has been there every step of the way. We have expanded our existing programs to make them more effective and are constantly adding new programs as the needs of the community grow. As the vision of our founders has proven over the last 50 years, the work of ICNA is essential to our community. now more than ever before i would like to congratulate uh, the members of ikna congratulations on 50 years of ikna and entering the new age in which we play an active role i encourage and congratulate all the workers members mabruk mubarak to ikna on its 50th anniversary heartfelt congratulations mashallah takbir to our brothers and sisters at ICNA on 50 year I wish ICNA on this 50th uh, year uh, all the best and I pray that inshallah ta'ala it continues to rise I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts from us and from them and I ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps our hearts united heartiest congratulations to ICNA for the 50 years of its existence in the United States of America I would congratulate all ICNA brothers and sisters and members and volunteer that inshallah next 50 year of uh, sharing Islam serving humanity and standing up for justice will also continue we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the 50 years of the islamic circle of north america i want to congratulate the pioneers of this work that has evolved into the islamic circle of north america we hope and pray that these 50 years will continue to really allow us to build that proper foundation all thanks to allah
every drop of rain. Help us and join ICNA today as we continue sharing Islam and serving humanity. It's thanks to you. Alhamdulillah. 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 All thanks is to Allah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.